Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is, you're creating legacy in the physical and spiritual realm. You're creating legacy in the physical and spiritual realm. And I have three scripture references today. The first is Proverbs 13, 22, and it reads, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children but the sinner's wealth is laid up for the righteous. And the second passage is Psalms 145.4, and it reads, One generation shall commend your works to another, and shall declare your mighty acts. And the last scripture reference is Psalm 112, 1 through 3, and it reads, Praise the Lord, blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. His offspring will be mighty in the land, the generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in his house and his righteousness endures forever. So for many of you, you, and this message is for a very specific group of people. Please take this to the Lord for confirmation. It should be, be confirming something the Lord's already spoken to you. Test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. But many of you are the generational curse breakers in your family. And in doing this, you are also creating this legacy of um, <clears throat> physical and spiritual um, inheritance. And, um, you know, many of you <clears throat> have come out uh, from your earthly family um, and made some tough decisions and really denied yourself to follow Jesus Christ. You know, you've really um, given up everything to um, literally some of you have given up property, you've given up um, family. I mean, you've done all of these things that it says in the Abraham covenant. And because of this, because the Lord called you to do these things and you were obedient, the Lord is going to bless you and you are creating legacy here on this earth. For many of you, this is generational wealth for your children and your children's children, not only financial, but just spiritual wealth. You know, um, when you break these curses, they, these familiar spirits aren't able to travel down the bloodline anymore. So for many of you, you know, you've broken these, you've allowed Jesus Christ to come in and break these off of your family. And for many of you, it's through your obedience, you know, through allowing Jesus Christ to come in to heal you with his spiritual living water from the inside out. And because you've been obedient, even when it's not easy, you are creating legacy, not only here on this earth, but also in the spiritual realm. Now, some of you may not have children, but you can still create a legacy here on this earth through your pursuit of Jesus Christ, through serving others, through um, mission work, you know, taking care of the children of this world. They don't have to be your children physically. I mean, I know for me, um, the children, and up in Cienfuegos at Abba's house, I consider those all my spiritual children. You know, I love those children just like my own. My, you know, the children that I physically bore on this earth. And for many of you who actually have children, you're creating legacy for your own family bloodline, but also um, for these other um, children of the world. Um, that you have kind of taken under your wing, that you have, the Lord's called you to help raise up the next generation of soldiers for Christ on this earth, to take back territory for Jesus Christ. And that's creating legacy, you know, that's, and that, that has nothing to do with familial bloodlines. That has to do with spiritual bloodlines and raising up children to follow Jesus Christ, to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And when you do this, you are fruitful for the kingdom of God and you are leaving a legacy on this earth. So many of you are in the process of doing this. You've answered the call on your life. You've allowed um, the Lord to lead God and direct you, even when it's not always comfortable. You know, you have submitted yourself to him and his process, his pruning process, his stretching in your life. 
so that you are more effective in your assignment. So I'm not sure who this message is for today. Again, please take this to the Lord for confirmation. But this should be confirming something that you have already felt in your spirit. But for many of you, it's going to be financial wealth as well. Many of you are kingdom financiers. And that's also part of um, creating legacy because the Lord's calling you to take that um, money that he's giving you to pour back into the kingdom of God. And so through doing this, you're also uh, creating that spiritual legacy as well. So, you know, many of you are, you've answered the call in your life. So keep moving forward and what the Lord's called you to do. If you haven't seen, um, you know, the finances coming in yet, like you know the Lord has promised you, just continue to wait on the Lord because he's not a man that he should lie and he will follow through with what he's promised you because he's t tried you, he's tested you, he knows you're trustworthy, he knows you're obedient. So, you know, start preparing a list. Many of you I know have already begun doing this. Start preparing a list of the ministries that you're gonna support. Um, of course, do this in conjunction with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will lead, guide, and direct you in this strategy of where and how and when to pour this money back into the kingdom of God. And by doing this, you're creating legacy, not only on this earth for your physical children, for those of you who have children, but also your um, adopted children, those the you know up and coming soldiers for Christ and his army. And you're also creating a legacy in the spiritual realm as well. So again, take this to the Lord for confirmation. I wanna welcome all my new subscribers to the family. Please click the notification bell so that you receive these messages as they're put out. And if you feel the Holy Spirit's leading you to sow into this message, I encourage you to do so. I pray for everyone who receives these messages that the right people receive them at the right time, that the algorithm of God will reach you, that the Lord will continue to lead, guide, and direct you into his perfect will for your life. And ultimately, the goal and the purpose of this channel is to glorify God and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ on this earth. So so again, just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed.